Welcome to the Grain of Salt Podcast, talking about Godzilla Singular Point, Episode 5. My name is Hank, and with me is Ben. Yo! Can you see the future, Ben? Can you predict? I Yeah, I was going to say, I can predict the future, but I can't see the future. <laughs> oh. No. I'm still wrapping my head around that one a little bit. It's fucking weird. I, I don't like think- the sh- I don't think the characters have wrapped their heads around it either, so I f- don't feel bad about it. Yeah, I guess they they must mean literally, right? Like he's not predicting; he's literally like visually he is looking at the future or something. That's how I'm I taking think it's it currently. Well, I think it's like even possibly more instinctual. Sure. Yeah. Um. But yeah. So there's a there's like time stuff. Yeah, very... like because the 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 monsters also have a link to archetype, so well, yeah, they have this like getting information from the future thing. So we had our first in this episode. We had our first instance of a little CG stuff that even I was like, eh. that yeah, that monster climbing out of the the pool of primordial goop. Not great. Our first, our first new monster. That is not a classic Godzilla monster. Uh, okay. I was staring at it, and I was like, maybe it's supposed to be, um, Gabra, who's from, like, All Monsters Attack Godzilla's Revenge, which is one of the ones we didn't watch. Okay, but but and and I'm not alone. Um, I was like Reddit. There were Reddit threads about like there's a frame of him in the trailer for the show, and people were thinking maybe that was who it was, or that that was who it was. But it is not him. It is a new monster, Salunga. <laughs> yeah. And, okay. Like, the trademark for it like went up like the day before the episode came out. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, Salunga. My new, my new pal. He looks terrible. He looks really bad. <laughs> he looks not great, yeah. They're just not an interesting design. Uh, you know what did have an interesting design? Oh, uh, you know what? Two things. Um, why can I, I, how do you pronounce his name? Angurus, Angurus, Angurus? Angurus. Angulus. Angular. But I just go with Angurus. Ankylosaurus. Ankylosaurus. Angurus is like what I would say as a kid. So I just, even if that's wrong, I like it better. Yeah. I, I it has you. to do with like, you know, the difference between L's and R's and Japanese yeah. English or whatever. Um, He got real shiny. He uh, got little, he yeah. got wavy. That was cool. Uh huh. He vibrated. Um, <laughs> I like how I love when they were like analyzing Look, he's the video for your pleasure, and he vibrates. <laughs> oh man, God! <laughs> then the analyzing that video. Look there, he moved. Everything is moving. <laughs> he he moved it directly to reflect the the thing. It's like okay, well, I mean. Yeah, but like all of him was doing like it wasn't specific. He was like no. shaking like he was, you know. Yeah. Trying to get all the water off him. Now imagine if <laughs> imagine if they fire the shot, right? And just a single spine like flicks it away. <laughs> yeah. So then they start they start auto firing at him and all the spines start flicking individual bullets away. Now uh-huh. we're now we're talking. Um, no, his, his uh, the design other... continues to be good, and the the yes. sea serpent. Uh, uh, don't tell me, don't tell me. Um, shit, M- Manda, 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 Manda. It might yeah. be Manda. I, I think it's Manda, but my heart wants to say Manda, but I know that "eh" is <laughs> not always the right sound. Yeah, it's a Manda. Uh, duh, yeah. I need a Manda hug. 
<laughs> yeah, we find out those serpents by the the fishing boat are Manda in this episode also. Uh, and they're dope as hell. I'm so glad that they're big. And that wasn't just like some gotcha or something. I don't know. As soon as they showed that aerial shot um, mm -hmm. from the helicopter and the shadow was big, there was no end <laughs> and it was moving. I, I, it's so good. It's so good. There is a single, there's a shot that has a, a very, very, uh, cemented place in my heart from a defunct NBC show called Surface and it's about these like giant sea creatures and shit and there's a shot of one of the creatures like coming up it's a way way high up shot and there's a tiny little boat and uh one of the creatures is like coming up below it that shot amazing like <laughs> probably the start of the weird like love slash fear of the ocean mm -hmm. and i i love that shit so that was that whole bit was amazing i went back and i watched it a couple of times so good <laughs> i'm nice. about it yeah um what else do we get we get the debating about the if the if the energy light is an archetype is coming from the future that's still probably true but not clear um they yeah. still like theor theorizing about like they they obviously actually uh professor lee obviously already knew about this like mm -hmm. she's listening to her her theories but like she already knows. Um, yeah, they're they're definitely a step ahead, and it's there is there's like this question of like what if there are people are these people from the future and like what does the future look like? like the future does the future have a different shape is like the end of the the episode because you look at the yeah. the flower in the in the archetype that's all backwards. Uh, uh, <laughs> Actually, the end of the episode was Jet Jaguar about to get his shit kicked in again. You're not wrong. That is the, that is the very end. I just... Uh, I fucking love it, though. <laughs> dude, he cracks his neck. It's so good. Yeah, yeah. I have doing the little, the little side to side. Fucking robot <laughs> neck crack. I just... <laughs> I don't know, like... I I could t I could do with one more like Jet Jaguar thrashing like just let him get absolutely <laughs> destroyed and then we get the third iteration and that's like the good one or something. It's so good. He's so derpy. Like they make they made him worse with the wheels. Uh, I love it. It's so good. <laughs> I mean, that's Jet Jaguar. He gets his ass kicked in that movie too. <laughs> Oh my god. Harpoon guy? Yeah. Really, uh... I, he had a harpoon. <laughs> he had a big-ass <laughs> harpoon. They put that harpoon on that truck, and uh, they thought that was gonna be enough. I love... I love that... Uh, what's his name? Old guy is like, is it gonna, like... I forget. I forget the. I forget how he phrases it, but he's like, "Isn't that gonna like not work out?" Firing that. Yeah, he's just gonna like rip it off the, the truck, truck or whatever. He's like, "You don't know what you're talking about, man." And then he fires it and immediately. The truck <laughs> goes completely ass over to you, kettle. Yeah, like the truck does not have Amazing. enough weight. <laughs> so good. It is. Oh my god. <laughs> there is a thing where Angus is still getting bigger too. So it's like at this point he's even. Bigger than the cage they're trying to like get him into anyway. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, that's also great. <laughs> like they build this cage and it's not even like what the <laughs> what are you gonna yeah, do? We just have to draw him into this cage. And he definitely won't fit in. <laughs> I also I also love how the the old dude is like just so in love with Jet Jaguar. Like, he really mm -hmm. wants to make it work. Like, oh, you know that signal you used that was, like, 100% successful? 
and luring these things to a certain spot? Do you, could you use that? No, no, this isn't the job for that. I have a robot, though. Like, I have a robot, though. It's just, it's so good. Uh, well, the scene when they find Angerus and that hunter is just like, all right, I just have to shoot this thing. <laughs> just like, <no. laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are you doing, dude? <laughs> like, but like when, the... yeah, like, like I guess they are track. Like it did get shot. Success. Like they are tracking his blood because it did take a bullet. Yeah. Okay. But here's the thing. <laughs> Even if he wasn't a time warped light infused yeah. beast from another dimension, he's still fucking big. You're gonna need a bigger bullet, dude. <laughs> yeah. Like also he's like armored. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Even, again, like, even if he doesn't literally deflect the bullet. <laughs> uh yeah. He's clearly not soft. <laughs> He's like covered in armored spikes. <laughs> yeah, like as we established, not incredibly huggable. True. Got to hug him more so belly. now. Cling, cling to his belly. <laughs> Don't underestimate the soft underbelly. I mean, yeah, if he stands up, gone. Easy. God, he deflects that bullet. It's so funny. Just like, <laughs> it like he starts looking cool and vibrating, and then literally, his one of his spikes like flicks it. <laughs> yeah, just like back tap. at Yun. and then almost hits Yun. Yeah, and then. <laughs> The dude, like, be, don't be so careless with where you shoot. Like, yeah, yeah, that's the careless part. He, you, you, you were so close to hitting the right part of the giant thing. <laughs> I mean, at least that other guy had his gun holstered. Like he was. I, yeah, he did immediately. <laughs> he didn't see an armored lizard. He was like, oh hell yeah, <laughs> it's go time. Uh, it's not work. It did not work out for that last soldier that just screamed and started shooting at <laughs> Angerus. Uh, yeah, I suppose. I mean, I, I will probably never know. Like, we'll probably if he could have, if he was he like a, a single shot boy? Because if he was on auto, like maybe there would have been more success. Or was it on automatic? But. The, the future sight is so unreal that the first bullet hits and that's all it takes. And then after that, he's like, oh, it's pain. That's what the, okay, I get it. And then he just starts Gee. batting the other bullets away. He's like the Borg from Star Trek. You can shoot him once, but then he adapts. And now, now he can't use that, that skill at all. Or like Doomsday. Well, yeah. One yeah. of the things with Doomsday in DC is like every time he gets killed, this way, and then like he comes back to life, and you can't use that same way to kill him again. He's like adapted. Hell yeah! I'm just saying that like, did that adaptation happen as the rest of the clip was coming at him, <laughs> like in that uh -huh. split second? Yeah, how fast was it? I I can't imagine their adaptation is that fast just because of all the Rodan that keep fucking dying. Oh, God. It'd be so fucking cool though. <laughs> it would be cool. I mean, it was pretty cool what he did, honestly. It was, yeah, it was a good shot. the 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 slow the bit of slow motion, like it was a very it made it, everything about it felt very good. It's even so though, fucking like, weird. Like, I don't understand like where they got this idea of like the guys all much, but they could see the future. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm about it, dude. It's cool. It's just weird. I li I'm just, I'm so pumped, like, I just hope I don't get let down. I hope they don't do me dirty. Like, yeah. I'm so hyped right now about how Godzilla is going to fit into all this. Like, is he is he going to be the king? Is he going to be mm -hmm. fucking Big G? He better be. Yeah. 
You better be. The hype. They're hyping the shit out of me. The, the only, my only worry is he's going to look real derpy because the CG he's gonna in this look, is so, gonna look so a little, rough. Yeah. And as that, long like, as he does cool shit, though. And that, like, design of the thick lower jaw looks pretty okay. silly. He's, he's going to have thick thighs, thing. though. I was going to say, not the only thing that's thick on this Godzilla. <laughs> I'm trying to escape. I'm trying to get away from Jet Jaguar, but the sound of my ass cheeks <laughs> clapping. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Like how wide is he? He's like fucking Rex from Toy Story. Like he's just gonna be so wide when he's running down at stuff. If he's running down, yeah. Do you think he'll be uh, based on the? Based on the stuff we've seen from Kaiju so far, do you think he's going to be a, a quicker version of Godzilla, or do you think he's going to be his slow Terminator self? I think he's going to be slow Terminator self. Okay. I think they might. I think they might quicken him up a little bit. I I could see him. I could see him doing some. I mean, look at uh, Angerus like. They, they like all looked away for like two seconds and he just disappeared. Big That's ass true. lizard just gone. It's just, I or think was... Godzilla's going to be bigger than that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Hear me out. Angerus is like seeing the future and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. What if uh, the way that Godzilla interacts with like the future is basically just teleporting? Just nothing personals, uh, <laughs> Jack, Jack White. I'm so excited. I want to see what the abilities are. I want to see what he does. He I uses Blink Strike, he teleports behind people and then shanks them. <laughs> he just has a knife in his little hand. Oh, yeah, and he gets to do a little back. knife, the little knife, uh, <laughs> hand to hand, like flipping it. Okay. Look, if Godzilla can have an axe, if if King Kong can have an axe, rather, uh, Godzilla can have a knife. I mean, <laughs> you know, the classic trio of of kaiju weapons. Uh, Kong gets the axe, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. Godzilla gets his his knife, his little <laughs> shank, and uh, you know, oh, it's Gamera with the steel chair. <laughs> That's all I want. It's like the only thing. As soon as I saw that little Olympic flip that Gamera did, I'm like, I want this turtle to pick up a steel chair and just crack it. <laughs> and then after that, imagine getting the steel chair and then he plays your spine like a xylophone. <laughs> to play his own theme. Uh, there's kind of nothing better than you using your spines to play the xylophone to play his own theme song. It's still it's, the yeah, fucking best. It's, it's absolute peak. And he's so happy. He is smiling. He's putting on a show. It's true. He's his own hype man. <laughs> Even though he has all these children to be his hype man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's that's the other. Uh, speaking of children, in this one, like Angerus. Why is it? Why Angerus? Like, oh, didn't you hear? Like, someone's kid saw it on TV. <laughs> <laughs> that was, I forgot about that. I can't escape, dude. <laughs> and then she's why is like, oh. Angerus, because this fucking kid called it Angerus. Oh. oh my god! I just I can't get away. That kid's an expert. On Angerus. Like, he saw him first. <laughs> he saw him first, dude. About. Look. He was the first. Like, basically, he called dibs. As far as the military is concerned. That's how science works. <laughs> you see it first, you name it. That's not, I mean... science. <sighs> How long until one of these kids like were, uh, I mean at least the kid kaijus. didn't name it after himself scientists do that shit too 
Oh, yeah, dude. Or just after, like, stupid shit. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you know. Uh, the uh, director of security at the, like, the local 7 Eleven, like, his son saw the monster and, you know, wanted to name it after his dad, so say hi to your new kaiju. Dick. <laughs> Dickosaurus. <laughs> Biggest dickus. God. Uh, just, um, just fucking Jet you know, Jaguar was... standing next to that tiny cage. Oh. <laughs> yeah, just like posting up. Grandpa asleep at the wheel. <laughs> Not even paying attention. Like he has one. <laughs> There's one goal that he has, and he can't even be asked to stay awake for it. Um, I did, uh, there was one thing, I feel like I'm just like, not that I missed anything, but maybe misunderstanding. Sure. So, the guy, the guy from that, the, the facility that, that has the bones, he like hired a private detective or something? That guy, that's his first yeah. appearance, right? Mm, I think so. Okay. Because it, it, that's the vibe it gave off, and that's how I read it, or read into it. Mm -hmm. So, that also, that, that exchange felt a little weird. What, you mean just because like he started making... like, choking him at the end? I mean, no, that checks out. <laughs> Guy looked like he was asking for it. <laughs> it was very sudden, and I like. I don't know if it's. I don't know if it would be the translation or just that's the way it rolls. But I couldn't tell how I was supposed to take that. Like, if it was like over exaggerated anime choking, or if this dude is like putting that guy down. I <laughs> I wasn't sure. I'm pretty sure it's just like exaggerated choking, like you know. Bart Simpson style, but maybe that guy's dead. No, that guy's not dead. He was just okay. that, he was putting him in a headlock, but I think it was more of that of like he didn't actually choke him up, but like are, I can I trust you? What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, it was, but it was like playing for comedy as much as that. Yeah, yeah. It's a little weird. I'm so used I, to in anime the way people choke someone is grabbing the scruff of their front of their shirt and not actually grabbing their neck at all. That's classic anime. <laughs> Cuz they're like they're sure. too worried about actually showing choking cuz children are imitate it, so they just have the characters like grab the front of the other character's shirt and then the char a character like acts like they're being choked. That is that is a thing that happens all the time. Hey man, tight like when you're when stuff like is closed around your neck like that's, that's it's no good. Bad feeling. Breathing yeah. is important. It turns out. Yeah, you need oxygen for your brain. Well, <laughs> not my brain. <laughs> Superior being. Oh, um, we're just sleep deprived. Okay. Yeah. Um, so what was, like, with the reveal, uh, not reveal, uh, but the, the, the reveal from that conversation with Detective Dude, like, it was, like, underwhelming, right? <laughs> well, I think we, it's just establishing, the... like, that all the shit's connected. Archetype. Okay. The, the okay. monster facility, like, like, <laughs> that the, those bones are connected to Archetype or whatever. Like that all the shit. Oh, it's is okay. One so thing. it's like our, so it's like our confirmation for that. I it just, it's another piece. It's another character, working through that. Yeah. Cause, yeah. Because yeah. we have like a, a lot of characters trying to figure out what's going on, and we're seeing them all at once, and they're all like figuring out at different points, and not all. Of, and he's like not talking to all our characters either. So that's kind of just the thing. Yeah. True. I guess maybe I just like. I wish they would have like put that a bit earlier into it or something. 
like just slightly earlier in the episode because it, it, it fits because by the time you get there you're like yeah no shit <laughs> yeah but obviously I mean, I, I, yeah i don't think there would have been any time to, that it wouldn't be obviously at this point like i yeah I like guess. why else are we doing all this archetype stuff except it's related to godzilla like are you kidding me <laughs> You never know. You never know. <laughs> I mean, none of our other, uh, none of these characters even know about the fucking old lady with the p- demon pit. <laughs> yeah. God, I hate her. I still hate her so much. I were like black eyes. Black. I, I was like looking at uh, yeah because we got a better, a better view of it in this episode. I'm like maybe that's it. Like she just got a a not great shape, fucking soulless black wow. eyes, and a just a huge, huge bow tie. <laughs> been out here fat uh, shaming, I've... ladies. Oh, I'm not fat shaming. I said shape, <laughs> not okay. weight. Shape shaming. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Some shapes are just ugly. I'm sorry. You walk out here looking like a rhombus. I mean, you're gonna get roasted. I, I just, Not that eyes, she actually. Her looks like fucking a eyes are just. Like, her eyes are. It's, yeah, I don't know, dude. You ever just see someone and you're like, "That's not serial friendly." Like just a, a feeling in your heart. That's rude. <laughs> That's rude. I uh, also I don't know why they opened the the fucking pit that wide just for those guys to walk down there. If like, I mean, as soon as a monster shows up, they're just immediately going to close it on them. I I don't really know what those guys were going down there to do. Uh, really? It was like a sensor going off. Wasn't it? Or were they referring to the other, like the, the sensor at the other, the original facility with the Godzilla bones. Like that started this whole thing. Because they got down there, and that one dude, the older dude, non-military guy, was like, Oh, you must be who rang the sensor some bullshit. And they all ran. Yeah. Or like, this must be what set off the thing. I but yeah, like, why the hell Maybe they were talking about the other the... sensor, but I'm actually just not sure. I feel like... I feel like they could have had like a, a service door. E- you know, like yes, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's really my big issue is why is there no other way to get down there than opening all the fucking the entire hell portal with all its machinery? Why isn't like there a step ladder that doesn't require a fucking thousand foot slab of metal to <laughs> lift up to reveal it or whatever I don't know I had I you know I didn't really think about it until you brought it up mm-hmm. but yeah that's uh I mean they did it because it looks cool well yeah you can't just except, put it <laughs> except for the part where the, you're over a, the monster over looks a bad <laughs> yeah yeah well, and then he said, like, they they were like, oh, he's catching up to them. And the the shots that they chose were just so... He did not look like he was catching up to them at all. No. Literally at all. Even if he actually was, not with the angles they showed. He wasn't that fast. He was just slowly climbing up. Yeah, they, like, he's gaining on them. He's <laughs> barely moving. Unless it's just they were trying to, like, he's so big that even though he looks slow, he's still gaining a lot of ground. But that was not conveyed well, if that was the goal. Yeah, I think that's true, but I, I yes, it was not conveyed well. That guy very swiftly moved from, like, role-playing a shopping mall announcer to quoting Dante's Inferno. Yeah. That was a, I mean, a glow up, I guess, in some ways. Ah, uh, I don't agree. <laughs> really? I think his his other bit was just better. It's just funny. It's more well, compelling. It was, well, it was, 
Uh, sure. Yeah. But you know, on a personal I'm impressed growth by the level. Dante's Inferno, like wood level quotes. Well, I mean, yeah. It's pretty Aband abandoned hope is a bad <laughs> That's line. wood tier reference. <laughs> Yeah. Let's see. What else did we? What think, else do we have? I, I feel like there was something else. Okay, I think that's it. That I like. I I feel like there was something else that I noticed. Not 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 necessarily a something like. Big, oh, gotcha. I guess, but I can't. I can't think of what it was. Huh. Nah, it'll come back to me like th three hours from now. I'm sure. sure. I'll wake up. Yeah. I do. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited uh, for the, getting a fight next episode for sure. Oh hell yeah, hell yeah! I was pumped. I actually was so dude. These are they continue to fly by. Yeah. Like I thought we were gonna get the fight, and then I saw the you know like oh no, that's it. Yeah, no. It's just uh, uh, I want it so bad. No, twenty minute episodes. Turns out, yeah, Good pa it went well paced twenty minute episodes. Just like num 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 snacks. Good snacks. Want more? Mm. Delicious. I yeah. I mean, well, and especially. Not that it's uh, not that it's any worse for it, but I I was not aware that Invincible had like forty two minute episodes. Yeah. So that first one, I was like, ah, there's only seven of these, and I like look down, and we're only halfway done. I'm like, oh, okay, that that tracks. Mm -hmm. We're good. And that one goes to like the very end of that forty minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's full. But, uh, I guess that's an episode. It was good. Yeah, yeah. I'm. I mean, I'm. I'm. I'm pumped to to see where stuff is going. I like the. I like the what's the phrase I'm looking for? Not the human angle, but like the the sciency bullshit angle. That's like different. Mm -hmm. But in this case, like, I mean, it's I, the, like the anime trilogy. They had they had some super cool ideas, but just, you know, terrible execution and everything else. Mm -hmm. um, these ideas are really cool. And like, I'm I'm interested in them still. Like, it's yeah, I'm enjoying the build up and how they're putting it all together. Still, mm -hmm. they haven't they have not stumbled yet, in my opinion. And we're uh, five episodes into a Godzilla show in which Godzilla has not shown up and I'm not mad about it. <laughs> yeah. That's, you know, you're doing a good job. It's a pretty good met. It's a good metric. Honestly, <laughs> like how long can you hold back Godzilla? And it's still like good. Yeah. All right. You can email us salt circle podcast at gmail.com. Find us at salt circle pod on Twitter. I'm on Twitter at Comic Panels. Episodes hosted anchor.fm so Salt Circle. We're on all the podcasts and apps. Apple, Spotify, Google, Stitcher, uh, Salt Circle Podcast. Yeah. Yeah. I've, I've, yeah. I. Ben everywhere. doesn't exist. I don't. It's kind of nice. I don't have. Ten-year-old former students adding me on Instagram anymore. That's God. really cool. Really pumped about that move. <laughs> no, I can't. Yeah, I can't. I'm, I I completely understand purging <laughs> all your socials. It has you, to go. You have to. It has to go. All deal of it. with children. <laughs> We're definitely going to look you up. Hundred percent, dude. Well, it's I can't. Because, like, of course, all this shit is linked, right? So I'm sure... I don't even think he looked me up. I think as soon as I added him, like, to message him for class things, 
I'm sure Instagram popped up and was like, hey, what are your contact? Oh, your new contact is on Instagram. Yeah. Ratted me out. Because <laughs> I even tried making a new, like, this was on a new account. Like, I was going to make one just to, like, post, like, non, non-picture non stuff. Like, I, I want to do, like, some, some maybe some, like, poetry posting or just, like, photography stuff. That's That sort of thing. Like, non- non selfies and all that shit um and nobody i i i added literally nobody and like four of my students added me immediately <laughs> like i got, i need to get out of here i just i i burned it i i only had it because it i got the good name variant uh-huh. that i wanted very symmetrical and all that uh-huh. and i i didn't care i didn't care i burned it all to the ground yeah. It's not worth it. Social media was a mistake. <laughs> uh, I still like seeing cat videos and pictures sometimes. So, cat videos are very good. Yeah, Paul. Uh, Paul called it uh, curating TikTok to show you like cute animal videos. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty power. It's a it's a very powerful move. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Peace. Peace, everybody.